Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the shape factor for a hollow circular section. Let us consider a hollow circular section. In this circle, caps D is the outer diameter, the small d is the inner diameter. We know the formula for the shape factor. S is equal to Zp by Z. Zp is the plastic modulus. Z is the elastic modulus. First, let us calculate the elastic modulus. The formula is I by Y. The formula for movement of inertia in a hollow circle is pi into caps d power 4 minus small d power 4 by 64. This circle section is symmetrical. So, the neutral axis lies in the center. From the neutral axis to the fiber, the distance is d by 2. So, y is equal to d by 2. In the elastic modulus formula, we can apply the values of moment of inertia and y. We can take d by 2 inversely and multiply. We can cut this 2 and 64. Here we will have 32. Finally, we are getting z is equal to pi by 32 into caps d power 4 minus small d power 4 by caps d. Now let us calculate the plastic modulus Zp. The formula is A by 2 into y1 bar plus y2 bar. The area formula for a hollow circle is pi into caps d square minus small d square by 4. To calculate y1 bar and y2 bar, we have to split the circle into two parts about the equal area axis. This hollow circle is symmetrical, so the equal area axis lies in the center. We have to split this hollow circle into two parts about the equal area axis. One above the axis, one below the axis. Let us keep the part above the equal area axis as 1 and below the axis as 2. You can see that both of these shapes are same. So y1 bar will be equal to y2 bar. So no need to calculate both of them. We can calculate any one of them. Let's calculate y1 bar. Now let us calculate y1 bar. The formula is a1y1 minus a2y2 by a1 minus a2. In this formula, we are subtracting because we are having some empty space. Here, we are having two half circles, one inner half circle and one outer half circle. For the outer half circle, first let us calculate the area. The formula is pi d square by 4 into 1 by 2. For the whole circle, the formula for area is pi d square by 4. Here we are having half circle. That is why we are dividing by 2. Finally, we are getting a1 is equal to pi d square by 8. In the same way, we can calculate the area for the inner half circle. Here we are getting pi small d square by 8. For the outer half circle, the distance of centroid from the equal area axis is 2d by 3 pi. So y1 is equal to 2d by 3 pi. For the inner half circle also, the formula is same, but instead of caps d, we have to apply small d. So y2 is equal to 2 small d by 3 pi. In the y1 bar formula, we can apply the values of a1, a2, y1 and y2. Finally, we will get this. We can eliminate this pi and this pi. Also this pi and this pi. d square into d, we will get a d cube. 8 into 3, we will get a 24 small d square into small d, we will get small d power 3. 8 into 3, we will get 24. We can take 2 by 24 outside because it is common. Here we can take pi by 8 outside. We can cut this 2 by 24. So we will get 1 by 12. 
we can take this pi by 8 inversely and then multiply 2 4 are 8 and 3 4 are 12 finally y1 bar is equal to 2 by 3 pi into caps d cube minus small d cube by caps d square minus small d square we know that y1 bar is equal to y2 bar we have already seen that now we can calculate zp already we know the area pi into caps d square minus small d square by 4 y1 bar and y2 bar just before we have calculated let us apply all the values inside the formula here both of these values are same so let us multiply any one of the value with 2 2 into 2 we will get 4 then we can eliminate these two values also we can eliminate pi and pi 1 4 is 4, 2 4 is 8, 2 into 3 we will get 6. Finally we have calculated Zp which is equal to caps d cube minus small d cube by 6. Now let us calculate the shape factor Zp by Z. The Z value we have already calculated. Zp just before calculated. We can apply both of them. We can take 5 by 32 d upside down and then multiply 16 twos are 32 and 3 twos are 6. Then let's make some adjustments. Let us multiply this small d cube with the caps d cube by caps d cube. There will be no change because when we cut both of these it will be 1. So there will be no change in the answer. In the same way, let us multiply d power 4 with the caps d power 4 by caps d power 4. Then from here, we can take d power 3 outside. Here we can take d power 4 outside. d into d power 3, we will get d power 4. Then we can eliminate d power 4 and d power 4. Finally for s value we are getting this. Now let's introduce k which is equal to small d by caps d. Then k cube is equal to small d cube by caps d cube. Also k power 4 is equal to small d power 4 by caps d power 4. Instead of these values we can apply k cube and k power 4. Finally, we have calculated the shape factor for a hollow section which is equal to 16 by 3 pi into 1 minus k cube by 1 minus k power 4. Now, let's see some special cases. Let's see for solid section and for thin circular section. For a solid section, small d will be 0. So, k is equal to 0 by d which will be 0. In this equation, for k, let us apply 0. After applying 0, we are having 16 by 3 pi. When we calculate it, we will get 1.698. Now, let us calculate the shape factor for a thin circular section. In the thin circular section, small d will be approximately equal to caps d. So, let us take small d is equal to caps d. In k formula, instead of caps d, we can apply small d. In this way, we are getting k is equal to 1. Now, we can use calculus. Shape factor is equal to limit k approaches 1. Then, the value which we got earlier. Now, if we apply 1 instead of k, here we will get a 0 and here we will get a 0. So the value of s will be 0. That is not possible. So we have to find a different way. For 1 minus k power 3, we can apply a cube minus b cube formula. The formula is a minus b into a square plus ab plus b square. For 1, 
we can apply 1 power 3 because 1 power 3 is also 1. For 1 minus k power 4, we can apply a square minus b square formula. The formula is a plus b into a minus b. Instead of 1, we can apply 1 power 4 because 1 power 4 is also 1. Now, for 1 minus k cube by 1 minus k power 4, we can apply these two values. For 1 minus k square, again we can apply a square minus b square formula. So it will be 1 minus k into 1 plus k. Then we can eliminate 1 minus k and 1 minus k. Finally, we will have this value. In this equation, instead of this, we can apply this. You can see that I have applied. Now let us apply 1 instead of k. Here we are getting 3. Here 2 into 2 we will get 4. Right now it does not become 0. After the calculations we are getting the shape factor for a thin circular section is equal to 1.27. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.